Hey there, you filthy animals. Mr. Dirty, back another episode of Bullshit here on the GTM Show channel. This, of course, is the segment of the GTM Show where we like to check out ramen bowls, noodle bowls, and rice bowls. Today we got our old friend Sam Yang back on the show. And if that sounds familiar, they're the guys that brought us the fire noodle challenge and the nuclear noodle challenge, which was the uh, hot chicken and the two times spicy. Then there was also a four times spicy. And we've checked out a few other flavors from them along the lines, most of which have been like excruciatingly hot. You know, over-the-top spicy stuff, challenge level. Today, hopefully something not so spicy. Uh, we're checking out the assorted vegetable ramen from these guys. And there you go. This is the package you're looking for. If you're looking for this in stores, take all that in. Yeah, it does have the new branding up here. This was probably new when I scooped it. I have been sitting on this for a few months now. But yeah, nothing on here to really say spicy at all. There might be like a, one kind of a chili pepper on there. But other than that, we got like red bell peppers and you know other not so spicy vegetables. On the back of the package, if I peel this flat back, there is your nutrition fact chart. And then if I flip it back over, there you go, your list of ingredients. Maybe you can pause the screen and read some of that. And uh, cooking instructions. Now the cooking directions on this one says add noodles in all sachets to 500 milliliters of boiling water and boil for four minutes. And remove from heat and serve. So they say sachets. So we, we're expecting more than one pouch in here. All right, I split it open. Yeah, we've got uh, two pouches. The red one here feels like some sort of a powdered soup base. And they're just calling it soup right there. Veg assorted vegetable ramen soup. And then over here, the green pouch we got dehydrated vegetables, and here it says assorted vegetable ramen flake. So there you go. I believe some of the other bricks of noodles that we've gotten from Sam Yang in the past were rectangle or square. And here we see, just like Nong Shim, a round noodle palette or a brick of noodles there. Definitely like when they do the uh, the round brick versus the square or the rectangle one because these, you know, they, they'll fit in more pots. But today I've got my new ramen bowl from UpStyle that comes with a lid. So we're just going to do everything right here in the bowl and we're going to let the lid steam it. All right, so there's the brick of noodles right there in the ramen bowl. And I did have to force it down in there. This brick of noodles that's coming with these new Sam Yang things here definitely is the exact same size as the bowl. So you force it down a little bit. You know, they're crispy noodles. I'm saying you can force them down there. The noodles just break up a little bit around the edges. No biggie. But what I like about these upstyle ramen bowls is that they, they have measurements right here on the inside of the bowl that tell you 250 milliliters, 500 milliliters, 750 milliliters. This one in particular calls for 500. So we're going to be filling it up to right there with the water, which is right above the noodles, right where you would expect. But they did say to add all the sachets and let everything cook together for four minutes. So let's do so now. I'm gonna add the flake first. Boom, there that goes. I'll give you a, a look at this before we go ahead and put the water in. And now the, uh, the powdered soup base, bam. Very colorful. And there you go, take a look at it before I go add in the water. Like I said, very colorful. Yeah, nice look of this. I got a kettle of water right here, so we're just gonna fill it up right to that 500 milliliter line. And then we're gonna throw a lid on it and just let it steam out. Boom, just like so. All right, so we're gonna let that sit for four minutes and we're gonna come back and check out our Sam Yang assorted vegetable ramen. And before we slide out of here, I gotta say, this the scent alone, the aroma, right now reminds me a lot of like uh, Campbell's vegetable soup. All right, so with that being said, we're gonna wait out the rest of our cook time and come back and check out a assorted vegetable ramen from Sam Yang. Stick around. All right, guys, it's been a little over four minutes. It's time to take the lid off and give it its stir, but we're gonna do this you know, all at the same time. So you guys get to see first look before I go stirring it. Here we go, the unlidding, I guess we'll call it. Here we go. Boom, there you have it. This is our Sam Yang assorted vegetable ramen right there. That's what you get. Yeah, still some broth going on in there. Almost spilled it out. Yikes. So there's our vegetables. Everything's come back to life. Time to give it a final stir and then give it a taste. Now it says assorted vegetable ramen on there. And I don't know why I was expecting there to be like more vegetables than normal. But it seems like a typical amount that you would get with any of the other flavors, like a chicken flavor or a pork flavor or beef flavor. Now, any of the ones that come with like dehydrated little bits of meat. You can see I'm talking about the mix of vegetables there with every pull here. You can see, you know, the amount of vegetables that you get. Also, you know, I would say a perfect cook on these noodles. You know, just uh, digging through here. Haven't tasted them or chewed them yet, but just with that steamer lid on there, yeah, I, th I think that this bowl did a pretty good job of steaming out these noodles. The aroma right now, not so much like the uh, Campbell's uh, vegetable soup that I mentioned before. 
It's a bit more like ramen. Now that I've got a thorough stir here, I'm starting to see more and more bits of other vegetables like mushrooms starting to come up to the surface. So yeah, not a bad spread here. All right, time to taste it. So uh, down the hatch. Now I didn't expect it, but there it is. First snap in, spicy kick right to the back of the throat. I'll take a few more snaps and see where this goes. Yeah, three or four more snaps in. And definitely, I got like a little bit of a, a sweat going on on the top of my head. The entire inside of my mouth is on fire and it's starting to peck away at my throat. The heat level is nowhere near that of the hot chicken or any of the, you know, the bulldog, any of those ones. But yeah, for an assorted vegetable that doesn't have the, the chicken holding nuclear bombs on it and there's no flames on this package, pretty plain looking. You saw the thing, just pictures of vegetables on there. Why does it have this spicy kick? I mean, I, I can see a few vegetables in there, but I don't think the, you know, the sparseness of these little vegetables, which are mostly herbs, I'm not getting zesty herb flavor. I'm not getting vegetable flavor off here. I cannot taste these carrots. I can't taste these mushrooms. My mouth is on fire. And the only thing it tastes like is like uh, tomato peppers. I mean, to taste the shiitake mushrooms, you, you basically have to peck them out of there and eat them on their own. Definitely, as usual, it's a high quality noodle. As far as hot and spicy, it's flavorful in that aspect. But yeah, it was supposed to be a sorted vegetable. That's what I was expecting. I it didn't expect this kick. So would I buy this again? Probably not. You know, I'm gonna look elsewhere if I'm looking for a vegetable flavored ramen. So for the Sam Yang's assorted vegetable flavored ramen, supposedly new on store shelves, so keep an eye out. I'm giving this a high three out of five. It's right there. It could have been a four. But yeah, that spicy kick, the heat kick that's on this is what's keeping it there. It's high quality, it's just misleading. And even on the front, you know, it says savory vegetable flavor right here, not spicy vegetable flavors. So anywho, there you have it. Sam Yang assorted vegetable flavor ramen. Buyer beware if you're looking for just vegetable. This is gonna be spicy as hell. I'm Mr. Dirty, this is bullshit here on the GTM Show channel. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the Real Mr. Dirty. And as always, get out of here. Go have a rotten day.